So before I do anything, I just want to acknowledge the uh, 9 plus 10 equals 21 video. Because I imagine a few people who only know me from that might be watching this. Uh, the algorithm randomly picked up that old video like a few weeks ago and the views have been fucking exponential. Um, it, it's insane. Literally, most of my subs are just from that video, which is why I figure some of y'all um, might be watching this. So, hello. Um, I'm Krogs. I make shit posts like the one you saw. Um, this, though, is a legit game I'm trying to make in collaboration with a few of my friends. It still has the hee hee, hoo hoo, ha ha, funny bullshit in it. Uh, I'd find it pretty dull to not have anything funny in a game, so I'm just having fun with this. Um, and I work on this game on my spare time, um, so it's 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 been in dev for fucking ever. But today I'm giving another update on it. Um, so this is um, after the cutscene I showed off last time. This is like the general play area you're stuck in, um, in a place called uh, Kipling Park, in reference to fucking. Uh, the the fucking best sitcom ever made, Jesse from Disney Channel. If you don't know what that is, um, good. Anyways, uh, we got apple trees here, and um, uh, some of you who are new here uh, might be surprised by this. Um, <laughs> we got Nazis as the villains um, in this initial part. And they've invaded the park because um, you know that, that just that just happens. Um, and the point of this here um, is to poison them with cyanide. Uh, this guy over here will tell you um, we're, we're going to poison them. And the whole point of this little section is to make cyanide and two other safe drinks. You got a little thing here telling you to do that. And I set up a whole thing where if you talk to him again once you have all this stuff, um, uh, you know, another cutscene will play out. I'm not gonna show that yet because it's 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 not done. Um, and also, you might notice um, uh, if you just face down, you're kind of looking like this because you're supposed to be drunk right now. Um, so that's the thing. Also, we have street lights now. That is that is pretty huge and cool. I think. Um, yeah, new new sprite I made just for the roadside here. Um, and you can also see we got the boundaries of the level. I don't like invisible walls, so I just have like this here. Uh, you still got the water pump well thingy. Um, and you got bushels of apples here, which I, I guess I could talk about that right now. Um, so as you can see, there's a little sack of apples here. Um, and you need the apples to make the cyanide. You could check here in your recipe list, cyanide. Uh, you need five apples and one water. Um, so yeah, and as you can see there are no bushels of apples anywhere, but that is because of what's called our fun value, and the fun value is definitely not an Undertale reference, I, I would never make an Undertale reference. Um, and basically the way it works is that when you load up the game, um, when you load up the game, the game will generate for you a random fun value um, and so I'm just manually going into the into the save file right now to change the fun value and so whenever you start a new game um, you get a new randomly generated fun value and I want it so that that fun value will randomly change stuff so I just changed it and now the bushel of apples is no longer here right and so we, we look around where could it be where could it be it's somewhere else in the park. And if we look over here, now the bushel of apples is here, which I think is pretty neat. Um, so I like the whole concept of having like a personalized, um, like a personalized copy of a game. So I want to have a bunch of randomized events that um, rely on fun values. I think some cool stuff could be done with that. Nothing like major. Nothing that, like, you'd miss anything big off of that, but, yeah. So there you go, crunchy apples. Something else I have worked on on the side is um, a save system for this game. So now, when you collect stuff, 
and then reload the game, um, the thing that you collected will no longer be there, as well as some like um, triggers for story events and stuff. So like, um, I collected the bushel of apples here, and I'm not going to change the fun values. I'm just going to reload the game, um, and actually no, it's, it's still going to be there, right? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's still there. Um, for that to have remained there, I had to have saved the game. Um, which I'm going to make it so that the game saves at certain story points. Well, not at certain story points, but like you have to like physically go somewhere to save the game. Kind of like the telephone from Earthbound or the star from Undertale. Um, like you have to go out of your way to save the game. And once you do that, the bushel of apples will not be there, um, but the apples will remain in your inventory. Uh, so I have that set up. Um, yeah. And so once you collect everything you need, um, which, you know, I'll do that right now real quick. So the save system, I got that working now. Pretty happy about that. Took me a second to figure out the logistics of it. Um, but I got a pretty good way of doing it. Um, and if you remember, you get copies of Cars 2 on DVD and Beans from Garbage Cans, because, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think we have enough apples. So now we just go to our handy dandy soda machine here, select the soda. Uh, ooh, we have to talk to this guy for the cyanide recipe. Alright. So then we could go here, and also I should probably change this because at this point in the game there's no reason to have the base price show itself. That's going to become relevant later in the game, but right now that's just going to be needlessly confusing. Um, but right now, you can make soda. Wow, so we got three cyanide and two water. And now if we talk to him, some stuff will happen. Um, but I'll do that in a second. Um, yeah, what was I going to mention? Um, yeah. Another change I made was that you might notice the top left here, there used to be a little HUD with money and time and information like that. At the beginning part of the game here, this is just chapter one. By the way, there's going to be chapters to this. This is just chapter one. Um, at chapter one, there's literally no need for that. There's no money yet. There's no like uh, time. So like there's, there's no need for that. Just needlessly confusing, so I'm removing it for now. Um, yeah, so, and, uh, what, what is this? I don't remember. Alright. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I remember. I, I, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, oh, mysterious white, white thingy. What is it? Secrety secret? Oh, oh, uh, uh, let me guess. L let me guess. Just to make it even more mysterious, the video's gonna fucking suddenly cut 